everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yadi, and this is Yadi Angel Art. Today, we'll be making our own watercolor gift tags for Christmas. I've got a few on hand that I'll be painting on first, and then afterwards we'll be making some from scratch using watercolor paper. I'll include the list of supplies I'll be using this video in the description box below. So, let's get started! I had so much fun with the Kurotake Gonzai Tambi watercolor set last week that I decided to just bring those back. So that's the watercolor set I'll be working with today. Now for our first design, we're gonna do something super simple. I'm not even gonna bring the paints in yet. We are gonna do a mini snowflake. So first things first, draw a line up and down and then draw two more lines over it to form kind of an X. Then bring in a pen or marker. I'll be using a white gel pen here to just go over those pencil marks. So I have more of a toned color tag, so white really stands out great over this. If you're drawing over a white tag, maybe try using a blue pen. I think that would be really cute for a snowflake. Next, you'll want to draw these little like arrow shapes facing the center of the snowflake. I did just two for mine since my lines are pretty short. And there you have it! That's our first design! It's so cute and you can do it really quickly! For our next design, we're going to do a few hanging ornaments. So it's really just drawing a few lines and then some circles at the very bottom. <laughs> I only did three because I'm using such a small tag, but I tried to make sure that they were all varying lengths. And one of the shapes, I started off as a teardrop, but then I added like a little bit of a point to the bottom of it uh, using paint. You'll see that later. Then I just lightened mostly the ornaments with an eraser. Okay, we're finally gonna bring in some watercolor. I'm using red, green, and blue, and I got my brush wet and I picked up some paint. And I came and I mostly drew just kind of on the bottom part of the ornament here. Then I cleaned off my brush and I wet it with some water and I brought it back and spread the color around. Then I dried my brush off one more time and I kind of picked up a bit more of that color. I came back with the blue and did a similar thing, just painted on the one side. Then I brought back a dryer brush and spread the color around a little bit more. This time the brush was too dry, so I brought back more color. <laughs> Since the green dried off a little bit, I added a little more color on the bottom there. And now it's time to bring in that red. So I brought back a wet brush and I spread the red around a little bit more. Then I dried the brush off and I picked up some more of that color. And with that, we're done the watercolor design. Uh, so I wait for the ornaments to dry and I bring in my pen and I trace over the lines that are holding those ornaments up. Okay, moving on to our third and final little tag design. This time we're going in straight with the paint and you'll just want to get your brush wet and pick up some of that red and put down just a few random dots. Uh, I would aim for the bottom part of the tag so that you have room in the top to write. Then pick up some green and paint a line through the tag just between all those red dots. Then just start adding in little lines that'll come off as leaves. Then you can start connecting some green stems to the red dots. So next just pick up some red and then draw a few more extra dots around those first few dots you made and the red ink seeped through the green a lot more than I intended it, but that is no big deal. Just dry off your brush and pick up some of that red, and then you can go over all of that with green again. As a final step, I added a few little red dots there on the right, and there you have it! Our third and final design for these itty bitty tags. It's super cute. Make sure you wait for it to dry before uh, writing on it. Okay, now we're moving on to the watercolor paper tags. 
So to prep the watercolor paper that I'll be cutting up, and I'm using a watercolor sheet that is six by eight, I drew up the paper into nine squares, and then I cut up six of the squares. I left three squares connected, and I'll show you why later in the video. So grab the six that you cut up, and I used washi tape to kind of hold the paper down, but I only used a little bit on the corners there, as you can see. I'm really just trying to keep the paper in place rather than um, trying to keep it from warping. So first, pick up some yellow paint and draw a star at the top of the page. Then fill in the star. And next, pick up some green. And what we're gonna do is kind of a swirly design. <laughs> uh, start off very small at uh, where the star is and then get bigger as you go down. And there you go. How cute was that? And that was so simple. It was like two steps. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next one. So for this one, you'll want to pick up some red paint and freehand a bow. I tried to freehand a lot of these in part because it's a lot simpler that way. <laughs> like I don't have to do like 10 different steps to do a sketch and then get it all perfect. But then also because it helps me keep them from looking perfect and they have this very like, very cute handmade style to them that uh, I just love it. I love that imperfection. Okay, next pick up some extra water and make sure you still have paint on the brush and draw a line horizontally through the bow. Make sure you try to avoid touching the bow as much as possible because it's watercolor paint so it'll reactivate once you poke it and then it'll the the shape of the bow will start to get lost. And next draw a line vertically through the bow as well still avoiding the bow as much as possible. Now I'm not trying to make sure that these lines are super straight, but I am trying to make sure that the lines are similar in thickness. And then here you can see me stretching out the bow a little bit, just making it a bit bigger. You'll want to make sure that this is dry for the next step. So for the next step, I picked up some gold paint and I sort of outlined the bow. Then I picked up that same gold paint and instead of really like an outline, I did it more like a trim on the rest of the ribbon. And here it is after everything's dried, all shiny and pretty. Oh, so cute, it's like a little gift box. Okay, for this next design, you'll wanna sketch these lines out with a pencil. It's just semi-circles kind of, they're at the top of the page. I went with three, I think you can do as many as you want really. And for this design, you can use as many or as little colors as you like. I'll be using four. So what I did next was I picked up the green paint and I put it down as kind of like leaf shaped or light shaped circle, but I really wasn't like strict about it. I just was trying to put down paint. The way I put it down was I kind of tried to leave four spaces between each green. And I made sure to avoid any points that the lines touched until the end. Okay, then I went in with the red paint and I pretty much did the same thing. This time just going like next to the green paint, still avoiding those crossed lines. Then again with the blue and again with the yellow. And now that I kind of did the main lines, I tried to look for colors that didn't overly repeat near the crossed lines. So if there's not a lot of yellow near the cross line, then I would put yellow right there. You know, I wasn't trying to keep up with the pattern perfectly. Then after it dried, I came back in with a pen and I drew over the sketch lines. And there you go. On to the next one. So for this one, you'll want to draw a cane with pencil very lightly. Then I took my kneaded eraser, but you can use any eraser, to make the sketch even lighter. Then I picked up some red and I just added stripes to it. Then you'll want to wait for it to dry and as the final step, take 
a pen and do the outline of only the white part. This works especially well if the tag that you're drawing on is white, so that way it kind of helps to separate the white stripes from the white tag. And that is it for the candy cane gift tag. Yay! All right, so for this next one, I like to call it like a whisper of a tree. <laughs> You'll see why. So uh, pick up some green paint and just kind of freehand the shape of a Christmas tree. Don't pick up too much green paint. Make sure that the brush is mixed with a good amount of water. And then what I did was I brought in some extra water to the bottom part and then I just dragged down some of that extra paint to the bottom. This is why it's a whisper. So don't follow this next part. <laughs> I was trying to experiment and make quote a whisper of a star but it was not looking cute. This is why I love watercolor because I can just go back, pick it back up and pretend it never happened. <laughs> Except I actually showed you guys that it happened. I cleaned it up and the next step that you'll want to do is do a very light shape of a star above the tree. And then as a final step, I drew kind of in a curved line going upwards, little dots to represent the lights. Some of the bottom of the tree was still wet, so the lights kind of spread out, but I think that actually came out really cute, like it was glowing. <laughs> so I just let that be. And there you go. How cute is that? I think you can tell I had a little too much fun with these designs. <laughs> okay, so for this next one, pick up some green paint and some water, and you'll want to just draw lines going downward. And then I did like a little leaf shape and connected it to that line. And then same thing, a little leaf and then connect it to the line. And I just tried to make sure these lines didn't go in completely the same direction as the previous lines. I added a little too much paint at the top there, so now I'm bringing it down. Then let the green paint dry and pick up some red paint. And just add a few dots between some of the leaves. And finally, just paint a simple little bow at the top there. And that's it! A little mistletoe tag. Oh. Okay, so now we're moving on to the three that are connected. Now, uh, the main reason that I connected these was because a lot of them are going to be painted in fully. So it would be a lot easier to keep it together as one page. It'll help keep it all from warping and going a little crazy. Okay, so for the first piece, I taped down with washi tape all of the sides. And we're just gonna do three small circles on the left side here, and a little tiny hat, and little twig arms. I think you see where I'm going with this. <laughs> and don't forget to add the little bit of snow there below the circles. Okay, now you're gonna pick up some blue paint, like as much blue paint as you can, and just paint it on the top. Do like a strip. And then add some water to the brush, and paint over that. Then I went and I added some more paint to the very top, just to make sure it was like dark. Okay, then I cleaned the brush just a little bit, added some water to it, and I came back and I brought that paint down. Then I added more water to the brush, and I added it to the bottom. So we're gonna do kind of like a gradient here. I keep adding more water and kind of slowly bringing it down until you reach the very bottom and just try to avoid that snowman as much as possible. Okay, now wait for everything to dry and then come back in with a pen and just kind of pencil the snowman all in. Or uh, pen the <laughs> snowman all in. All right, and look at that. It looks like a finished painting and it was just a gradient. That's so cute. So for our next design, we're going to do a, another gift box, but in a different way. So draw a line across near the top, leaving some room. And then above that line, you're gonna wanna draw sort of like three loops. And this is going to be kind of like a ribbon on top of the box. Then pick up some green paint and paint down a stripe in the center of those ribbons. And then paint over the sketch that you made of the ribbon. There you go. Let's move on to the next one. 
Okay, so for this one, I wanted more of a perfect circle, so I picked up the washi tape and I traced over it. And then I drew kind of a little curved rectangle near the side, the top side, and then I drew a circle above that rectangle. Okay, now onto the painting. I wet my brush and then I kind of filled in that circle there. And then I picked up some red and I kind of let it do its thing. I spread it throughout the ball. Now I was trying to be careful to leave like a bit of a white stripe on the top, like that would be where the light's coming in. And I tried to concentrate the color on the opposite side of that white stripe. Okay, let it all dry. And then I picked up some gold paint and did a few curved stripes. Then I picked up a little black, like very little black, mostly water and I painted over that rectangle so it looks like a little silvery or a little gray. And then it was time to cut everything up. So here's how everything turned out. What do you think? I think they were so, so cute. Oh my goodness. Now, my original plan was to punch a hole through everything with a punch hole, but after I did the one, it came out to be like way too big, the hole, and I didn't I didn't want to do that to all of them, so instead I took a needle, like a sewing needle, and I poked a hole through one of the gift box tags, and then I just made that hole bigger with the needle, and then I just put through the hole these extra little string tags that I had from an old Christmas tag pack. Now, after I did that, I looked at the rest of my tags, and I was like, Oh, these are too cute. I don't want to poke a hole through all of them. <laughs> so, I, so I left them as is. I rounded the corner for a few of them and I was kind of thinking that they would be really cute to slide into like the pocket of some of those wrapped gifts I've seen lately where you like fold it up in a way that there's a few folds and you can put stuff in them. It's just, it just sounds so cute, right? <laughs> so I left them like that and this is how they turned out and I had a ton of fun making these. I hope you did too. I hope I was able to give you fun ideas to try for your own gift tags. And if you do use any of these designs, feel free to tag me. I would love to see them. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you had fun, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next Saturday for the next one. Bye!